Everyone knows global financial business visa. You can't talk about finance or money without hearing about it once, as it is one of the major payment methods worldwide. Now, get ready to hear about a big venture that Visa has started. Not only are they dealing with fiat currency anymore, but now cryptocurrency also. Welcome to Six Zero Crypto, where you get your daily dose of knowledge for crypto. If you want to get the latest news on the cryptocurrency market, then smash that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated. Disclaimer: Nothing in this video constitutes professional and/or financial advice. The sole objective of every piece of content on this channel is to promote discussion and sharing of information. Do your own independent research or consult a qualified financial advisor before making any decisions based on the information provided. This video is not sponsored. Now, back to the video. U.S. PTO licensed trademark attorney Mike Condotis shared this tweet stating, Visa has filed two trademark applications claiming plans for managing digital, virtual, and cryptocurrency transactions, digital currency and cryptocurrency wallets, NFTs plus virtual goods, providing virtual environment, and more. He also shared a photo embed that shared the following. Crypto plus NFT plus Metaverse trademark application. Owner, Visa International Service Association, serial numbers 9764360500. And nine seven six four three six zero seven filed October twenty two twenty twenty two. The details of the trademark are as follows: providing temporary use of non-downloadable software for users to view, access, store, monitor, manage, trade, send, receive, transmit and exchange digital currency, virtual currency, cryptocurrency, digital and blockchain assets, and non-fungible tokens or NFTs. Non-downloadable virtual goods. Non-downloadable virtual goods, namely a collectible series of non-fungible tokens. Software for Management of digital transactions. Use as a digital currency wallet and storage services software. Use as a cryptocurrency wallet and managing and verifying cryptocurrency transactions using blockchain technology, software used in auditing digital currency, virtual currency, cryptocurrency, digital and blockchain assets. Digitized asset, digital tokens, crypto tokens, and utility tokens. Providing virtual environments in which users can interact for recreational, leisure, or entertainment purposes accessible in the virtual world. These specific cryptocurrency wallets were thought to be Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP wallets. So you may be asking, when did Visa get involved in cryptocurrency and what have been their plans? In 2014, Charlie Scharf, Visa's former CEO, noted that there were some interesting things about Bitcoin. In early 2021, Alfred Kelly, Visa's current CEO, noted that crypto could be extremely popular in the next five years. He wanted to make sure that the company was in the middle of the crypto revolution if it was. 
in 2020. Visa also filed a patent application to create digital currency on a centralized computer using blockchain technology. In December 2021, it launched crypto advisory services to help educate more customers about the growing asset class. Last August, they purchased a $150,000 CryptoPunk NFT for its corporate collection and later started a program to help creators navigate non-fungible tokens or NFTs. The most recent update was just this month. Visa just expanded their global partnership with FTX to help roll out FTX branded debit cards for the Latin American, Asian, and European market. Corey Sheffield, head of crypto at Visa, mentioned that at Visa, we believe that digital currencies will have a lasting impact on the future of financial services and money movement. He also added that, We're excited to partner with leading crypto exchanges like FTX to bring more flexibility and ease of use to the way people use their crypto. Unlocking the ability to use a crypto balance to fund purchases anywhere Visa is accepted. Our next update is from Ripple Labs as they have recently announced that the company now holds less than 50% of its XRP tokens in its wallet. The company's latest market report said Ripple sold 310 million US dollars worth of XRP in Q3 of 2022. They specified that the amount of XRP being held across the company's various wallets was below 50 billion. In addition to this, Brad Garlinghouse, CEO of Ripple, recently tweeted, Below 50%, a huge milestone. For 10 years, Ripple has focused on using XRP and the XRPL within our products for its speed, security, and scalability for the movement of value. As more customers use XRP in their payment flows, it's clear there is real utility here. Are you one of those who currently have XRP in their portfolio? Let us know what you think about the latest update above. Like and subscribe if you haven't yet, and leave a comment if you enjoyed this content. We appreciate you sticking around. This has been 6-0 Crypto, and we hope to see you in the next one.